Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm trying out a puzzle game called I Want a Lockpick. It's been a long time since I've been in a really good puzzle game, but everyone's like, you gotta play this, you gotta play this. So at least I'm a little bit hyped. I don't know a damn thing about this game, except maybe it's about lockpicking. But everyone's like, it's amazing. I, I really hope it's amazing. So it seems to have a simple premise. You pick up keys. I can see in the upper left, I can see the keys of a color. I can double jump and then keys open like colored doors. Okay, it's a very simple premise right now. I... I think a lot of puzzle games do this sort of thing, so I'm not immediately impressed. And a lot of the tutorial levels are for the sake of the player just learning controls. But this is already a little bit interesting. I mean, at least I have a choice. It's possible for me to lose. You just gotta make sure you actually get to the key that leads you to the exit. Five different colors of keys there. How many colors are they willing to put into this? I don't know. This is a double door. So in order to win, I need two gold keys. In order to get two gold keys, I need two white keys. And in order to get two white keys, I need a green key. And I can do it like this. I pick up the green key, don't unlock the green door, and then come over here. Easy. I do like a puzzle game that makes you th think backwards, work backwards to find a solution. That can often be a sign of good puzzling to come. I need two white keys to win. Well, one white key is given to me for free, but I gotta use that immediately to solve some puzzles. I also only have two initial options right away. One of them just gets me another white key. So I feel like if you spend a white key to get a white key, that's never a bad thing. And now I got a gold key. Well, spending a gold key to get a gold key doesn't ever seem like a bad thing. And now I just have to get a white key. Which white key, though? Probably the one that eventually leads to two blue keys. And by blue keys, I definitely mean gold keys. Oh, God. So I have this thing where I keep saying the wrong color when I mean to say a different color. Oh, this is just wrong. Oh, I almost had it. I spent the blue key too early. Reset. What I actually needed to do was to spend the blue key to get the blue key, because that basically does it. Yeah, okay. I had the right idea. Anytime you can spend a key to get a key of the same color, you you should always just do it. You lose. Well, maybe this game will invent a scenario where I could lose something by doing it. But right now, I don't see a way to lose something by doing it. Well, that's that's one idea to have down. Lots of choices. Three paths. I really got to make sure I can get through one of them. Well, again, if I can spend a gold key to get a gold key, I should always do it. And yeah, there we go. That's the end of that. Got to get the blue key. Well, this gets me two keys. I definitely take two keys here. I definitely get the last gold key. Not bad. Very losable. I think one of the things that pees me about puzzle games is when they're too easy. And generally, you can tell how easy a game is going to be is by the early levels, whether it's possible to lose these levels or not. And it is possible to lose these levels, which is nice. Wow, so I need a red and purple key to win. Well, the red key seems like the harder thing to do because I already have a purple key. Well, if I can spend a white key to get a white key, I should always do it. And actually, I can never spend the purple key because I don't get another one back. So that means I have to get the red key that's in the middle from the left side. So I need to get myself an orange key somehow. Well, I imagine I do that by getting a blue key. I guess it's kind of green, blue green. It's like an aquamarine. Anyway, orange key to get an orange key. This doesn't look good. Well, hold on, hold on. Spend an orange key to get an orange key. Spend an orange key to get a white key. Spend a white key to get a blue green key, and now I can win it. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this would be kind of stupid a little bit. I was hoping it wouldn't be, and it isn't. It actually feels really nice to play. Whoa, a level 1A. Oh, this one actually might stump me. Oh yeah, that's a lot of keys. To get to the check mark, I gotta get a red key. Oh, I gotta go through a really weird path, actually. Hmm. So, always spend a red key to get a red key. And then I have only one choice. Orange key? Well, I get a purple key either way. But this is actually a tough choice. I gotta see into the future right now. I think I need to think about just the ending, right? At some point, I need a green key. How do I get a green key? From the very top. So at some point, I gotta go up there. Then I need a red key. And the only place to get that from is the bottom? Wait, what? Don't I need two red keys? What's going on? Did I already lose? I did. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. That's funny. Wow, yeah, I can't spend many red keys here. Oh my goodness. Oh, they invented a way actually already. Uh, the red key that's on the top has to be accessed from the right if I want to win. Oh, well, that's cool. So that's just disproving spending a red key to get a red key. Oh, this game is clever. Oh, it is. So that red key I get back, I have to use right away. Or no, no, I don't want to use because I have to save it for later, which means that unlocking the purple door right away does not make any sense. Instead, I have to go up here, get the white key through here, and then I got to get the blue key, blue green. So that means I do have to get the other one as well because I have to go through this way. Now that I have the purple key, I could go back and get a red key. Well, now because this tunnel is a one-way access, it makes sense to actually 
spend a purple to get a purple. I mean, I could get that blue one right now. Yeah, but hear me out. Spending a purple to get a purple right now doesn't hurt either. So there we go. And now it makes sense to get a blue green. My other option was getting the red right away, which doesn't make sense to me because I want to get to this gold key. Still, it makes sense to spend a gold to get a gold. It seems like I could go either way. No, but I gotta remember the white door at the top. Gotta remember that. It seems like the white key has to be retrieved later. But what I can do now is this, right? I can get the gold key, which gets me the white key, which gets me the other white key, which actually lets me solve the puzzle. Yeah, that was tricky. It kind of does feel like you're lockpicking, or at least untangling some mess. I mean, I don't know a damn thing really about lockpicking. I'll continue to do the hard levels. What the hell is this? There's 256 combinations to solve this puzzle, but only one that works. Oh, I get a ton of starting keys. So I need eight blue keys. Oh, and there's eight blue keys in the level. I see. So each blue key is broken up into a left or right. I can choose left or right. So I got to isolate a certain color here. What about gold? There's two situations where I can spend a gold and a red together, thus eliminating gold and red. That doesn't quite screw me. But yeah, it does. Okay, actually, here's what's up. Bottom left needs to have a gold. So... That means I can't go through the double gold option here. I have to go through the single gold. That's a start. That means I can't go in any other of the single gold ones. And I guess that's it. What else is forced? Actually, here's something that feels a little cheesy, and I bet the game will disprove. I bet I have to spend all three purple keys. I bet this game is smart enough to have a puzzle where you're going to have leftover keys. But I bet right now you got to spend all of them. And the only way to spend all of them is by spending two purple keys in the upper left. This is it's very common for satisfying puzzle design to actually leave you with none or basically make you use all your stuff so now i can only spend one purple key and it has to be in the bottom so i'll do the non-purple path here i'm out of red keys so this fat path is forced now i have three green keys and if i go down the green path for every one i think it works and there we go eight blue keys i wonder what the logic was if I wasn't to use that must spend every key logic. Maybe that just is logic. That was a good puzzle though. Anyways, this is interesting. I need two purple keys to get two purple keys. Same with reds and blues. Okay, also I should call it blue because there's a very definitive green now. Well, the end of the game means I need two gold keys and there's only three gold keys on the map. So I can only unlock one of the three gold doors on the top. It would make sense to me to unlock the gold door that unlocks three keys you know, eventually. Actually, no, 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 no. How about I start with this question? Which two purple keys do I want to grab to unlock the bottom door? I think it's actually going to be the top two. And let's, let's see if I'm right. So two purple keys. I think the idea is this, right? I get one white key back. So now I can get one red key and then spend... Do I really want to spend this blue key? No, no, this works, this works, this works. I waste this one blue key, I get the red key. Because I can waste the orange key on top and then get the other ones for free there. And also get this blue key. Oh, this just barely works out. This is weird to logic. I hope it's reasonably followable along. Why it has to be this way anyway. But it is pretty clean, so nice puzzle. So casually, I'm just doing the hard levels before the easy levels because I like a challenge. Let's go back to relatively easy ones. Oh, <laughs> the tutorial for multiple keys. I think I figured that one out already. Anyways, this puzzle was easy enough. Not much needed to be said. Oh, good God. That's a lot of white keys. So I have 16 locks. I got to make it to the exit somehow. Well, so the right side has eight locks and seven locks. So obviously I go through seven locks, meaning I have to find a nine locker here, which is through here. Nice. And the hell is this? The goal is to bring six white keys to the door. That's a lot of starting keys there. 30 of them. Eight white keys on the map. Oh god, there's a white lock above? Surely they don't have us using that, right? Well, the three blue locks on the upper right doesn't make much sense because that would leave me with a leftover blue key. Okay, but it's necessary to get the two blue keys. There's three doors that have two blue keys behind them and a fourth with three. I can't ignore all of them. Well, since I know this is necessary, I might as well do it. 
And then, well, this one, I spent way fewer keys than the other. And I guess both doors are the same, so I might as well just pick my favorite. That's all the blues. Well, let's see. If I'm spending all my golds, I'm definitely doing the four golds. I also can't do any more blues. So that means I do have to do this key. And can I just go from the left? No, but it's not that bad because I can just go from the right here and the right here. Definitely meant left the first time. Nice. Feels nice to have a full world complete. And now I've got one big key, which leads me on to the next world. Generally, a new world means a new mechanic. So what is the golden gimmick? Ah, the golden shiny key, the master key can open any door. Cool. Right, so how do I... Okay, so that's... You can turn it on and off. That makes sense. Any door, does that include a double key door? It does. I'm like, this level does not seem solvable otherwise, but that makes sense. That's actually really powerful. So I could unlock like a 12 key door with a single key. What's it do? Just smash the door open? Well, I guess it just has access to every lock. That's cool. But I think the idea is this, right? I, I need two master keys in order to get through the big, big locks. So I can just do this, right? I can pick up the devil key and then use all the white keys and orange keys to get two master keys. Easy. Now what? So I'm not supposed to use the master key yet to get that eight key door, but soon. But now I should? Yeah, that makes sense. Neat. I can get behind this puzzle idea, but now it's just really tough. Some of that dark blue door at the end. Is that only unlocked by a master key? I guess actually all the locks on the top can only be unlocked with master keys. And I'm gonna spend a master key right away. So I will need four master keys. So that means I have to get through the third row to be able to get to the left side. Because every other row involves going through a master key, which I need to save. I'll try here, even though it seems like I have to think way too many steps ahead to know for sure. Well, uh, it does get me to this side. Oh, hold on. No, I think I'm just kind of screwed. No, wait, I can get keys from up top. Oh, I'm like, I'm screwed, but no, 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 no. I can use a master key to get a new key. I think this works. And at the end, that puzzle solved itself. Well, barely. Yeah, I need the right starting choice. Oh God, a challenge level. I don't know how ready I am for this. That's a lot of keys. Well, I'm ready for the challenge. I need two whole boxes to show all the keys. It's a key for keys. Very similar to 1B, except with master keys. So a red door means master keys. And that's the only color that requires a master key. So I need a master key on the bottom for sure. I need an orange on the bottom right. There's actually nowhere else where a color is mandatory. Well, how do I spend four purple keys? It's probably by going through the double purple doors. Ah, uh, but not always. I guess a master key can make up for a purple key. And technically, I don't need an orange key on the bottom right. I just need a master key. Well, what the hell then? How about I start with master keys? Technically, I could just go through three red doors and use three master keys. Well, here's a better idea. Blues only come in pairs of two, and I have three blue keys. So one of the blue doors is probably half blue, half master key. And then there's a master key in red. So maybe if I can figure out where the third master key goes, I'll be happy. There also seems to be a lot of orange-pink pairings. In fact, the only time pink comes up is when it's paired with orange. Oh, because they'll both be used up at the same time. So I can't really do orange without pink unless if I'm doing a master key. And there has to be a master key used on the bottom right because of orange. Okay, so I found three master key spots. So that means nowhere else can be a master key. One to use a double blue, one in the bottom middle, and then one on the bottom right. Cool. Now, which double blue am I going to be using? There's three double blues. I can only go through two of them. I'm probably going through double purple on the bottom, both times on the bottom. So I guess I'll do both top double blues. I'll do one master key. So I'll leave the purple alone. Yeah, this looks like it works. A lot of interesting logic went into that one, huh? So I have to use a master key here. Thankfully, it doesn't automatically reuse. I have to use a master key. Oh, very nice. Yeah, all right, worked out. This level, I, I thought I would have to, like, 
figure out the entire thing ahead of time. But what's really cool is you can just figure out a bunch of ideas and then piece them together. That's actually really unique for a puzzle game because a lot of games are like either you got to figure out the whole thing ahead of time, you got to do some trial and error, or you figure out stepwise. This is like you figure out some sort of discombobulated ideas and then piece them together. It's neat. This is a count the lock puzzle, but master keys can unlock big doors. That does complicate things. Yeah, because one master lock can open an entire door, even if it's 12 keys. I feel like I have to use master key here because then just one key would get me through the middle. And if I master key this, then I could just use five keys. So that's six. Then if I master key this, I would come up to nine keys. I would only have two keys left for this. So that's not right. I could also just use five keys here. Oh yeah. If I master key this, this, and this, I can use three, five more for eight, and then three more for 11. There you go. Nice. Another challenge level. I like these challenge levels. And all I do is start with the bonus key. What is this, 24 keys? What a big door. There's no way I'm getting orange keys ever, so I can always spend a master key to get a master key. The two pink keys can just be retrieved in the upper right. I think I'll let that slide. It does seem like a little faulty logic, though. This is a 24 key door? It is. Okay, am I really using three white keys? Well, I gotta save a master key for the end with that brown door. So I don't know. I don't know, something about this just feels wrong. Feels like this is too easy for a bonus level and I'm gonna be caught with something. But it feels like I've been going down the path the game has recommended that I go down. I think this works though. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the trick for that level was. I guess it's just about the idea of spending a master key to get a master key. That one felt easy. A blank door. These will only open if I have exactly zero of that color of key. Oh, nice. So I have one key, can't go through this door. Oh, and there's a spot where I could just spend the key. Junk it. So I could spend the key, break the door, get the key, spend it. I have to grab this key, and that's why that's there. Pretty clean seeing double so many keys so many doors so there's a point where i need zero orange keys well i think i can manage that looks like that four white keys is that feasible i have a master key so one master key could equal two orange keys and now i gotta figure out what i'm doing with these white keys huh wait a second can a master key open a zero key door i feel stuck here i want to find out if this is true I can. That's interesting. Because now I can go get white keys, which is, well, right now useless, huh? No, it's not useless, actually. Because now I have enough to get a bunch of purple keys. I think that actually is the solution. Very clever. And I just leave that part of the level alone. Wow. Love it. I also like how the level's name doesn't actively give you a hint for the puzzle. A lot of uh, puzzle designers have been doing it. It's, it's cute, don't get me wrong, but it feels cheap, you know? I want to solve the puzzle by solving the puzzle, not by reading the hint. Oh, this is like a reverse level. I gotta spend my keys so I can get to the end. How do I spend exactly 15 of each key? For orange, it looks like that 12 is mandatory. So then I have to do a two and a one. Well, in order to get to the two, I have to go through here. And the one could go multiple ways. Let's think about white now. I have 13 white keys left. And it looks like the eight is mandatory. If I don't include the eight, I don't get the 13. I'm not unlocking the 12 orange yet because I could go from multiple directions. But now I know five white keys means I need to spend a two and a three. So that means I spend it like this. But I've got to get to three somehow. And I don't know which blue I've got to break to get there. Here's what I know. I have to break both of these doors. In order to do that, I have to break, oh, a cyan. Three cyan. So I effectively have 10 keys left to break. I guess I could break six and four. That adds up pretty cleanly. That was a fun puzzle. This game has been surprisingly creative so far. There's a master key be hidden behind three of each. I could go and get it right away. I think it's a little smarter to spend three blue keys to get three blue keys though. So I need six purples, three cyans. I get six cyans for the bottom row, so I gotta spend three more elsewhere. Well, so I really only have two options, right? It's either get this door unlocked or get the master key. Part of me wonders if uh, this level's solvable without the master key. That would be quite funny. But if I'm not to get the master key, this is the only path I can go down. And I might as well see if it's logically sound. Oh, I can already spend six blues or six cyans to get six cyans. So I can spend a lot to get even more purples. I can get a ton of oranges here. Well, so the way I see it is uh, if I can get... I feel like it's really close is what I'm trying to say. I feel like I just am really close to winning this without the master key. 
Yeah, that was a weird level. I mean, I guess no master key, no top row. Well, this is a weird puzzle. 24 key. I'm not going to unlock that big door yet because I can spend two keys to get two keys. Oh, and frankly, if I unlock the big door, I don't even do anything. There's three white keys right behind it. So in order to win, I have to have, well, effectively a state where I'm at zero orange keys and one white key. How do I get an odd number of white keys? Because I to go through the middle, I have to have zero white keys, which is even. Where does it become odd? Oh, I have an idea, right? Like the only spot is here. I think I need to go through this white door and not collect these white keys. That's how I get an odd number. So I unlock this before unlocking this. But now I gotta make sure I have zero orange keys or an even number. And this is, I think, the only odd orange here. Oh, no, there is an odd orange key, so I guess I can go back. And I have to collect it, which means that I do have to unlock the other door. So it's about staying within odds and evens, right? Because I can do this, still even orange. I can destroy this while I can. And I have to get white keys. Right. So I still need to make sure I get 24 orange keys back. But I need to be able to spend three white keys. Is there any way to just gain two oranges? Yeah, there is one way I see. It's convoluted as hell, but I first unlock these. Then I can get rid of this door, take the keys, and this key. Go through here, get all these. Unlock this, get the keys. So now I can spend 24. Destroy this door. Get these four. And leave with one white key. Well, that was a good puzzle interesting ideas in that one so in order to win i need to have zero purples zero oranges and two cyans oh and the this is an interesting door right let's say i destroyed it then i couldn't do this i couldn't get through i wouldn't have the jump height so it's like i want to do the stuff in here early on and then get out so here's something i believe there's nothing wrong with destroying that door and then going to this door because i'm just spending an orange to get an orange i could do the same down below if i get the four orange keys in the bottom right it's not really possible for me to win well i guess it is if i can get a blue key no it's not possible for me to win because i would need to have zero keys when i first collect the orange key but that's impossible with the funny block how do i end with two blue keys from the upper left i wanted to try an idea where i actually get rid of this block right now and i just ignore the four gold keys it just seems like too much way too many keys so i get a key right back I suppose I could always try this door and go through the same silly process. Yeah, that's the ticket. Logic didn't feel that fulfilling, but it wasn't like bad either. I definitely prefer a type of puzzle where you have to like come up with ideas and imply those ideas as opposed to puzzles where you simply have to think four or five steps ahead. And that previous puzzle felt like a think four or five steps ahead kind of puzzle without too many ideas. So I really need no pink keys to win. That's all I need. How do I get rid of 16 pink keys? Well, I'll probably have to use the master key on the three pinks. And then I would hit the six, both fours, and then a two. And if I pick up those pink keys, then I would hit the other two. So in order to master key this, you gotta get through a ton of orange doors. Actually, how many orange keys do I need to spend to spend all my pink keys? It doesn't really matter if I have a surplus of orange keys though. All I know is I think I'm just master keying the big ones. And it makes sense to grab this because I can spend four to get six. I think I actually have to get the last of the keys up top. Yeah, it seems like it makes sense anyway. So spend four, double master send it. So I do have to hit every pink now because I did pick up the last of the pink keys. But that's manageable. Nice. Final one for this world. It's rated D. So in order to win, I basically need one purple key. I have six. Well, I know I can't unlock the purple door and the orange door up there. I think it's fine just set it. Then what? Well, I see how I can drop down to zero purple keys. Probably using this. I almost think I could do something like this. Spend one to get two. So at least now I could unlock that. And if I want to, I can drop down to one key and then subsequently lose. Great idea, Tyler. The question I should be asking is how on earth do I actually get down to one purple key? I don't want to ask that yet. For the sole reason that it's annoying to think about. Didn't need to pick those up. But I do believe I've soft locked myself. I think I need to just think about it from the beginning. I mean, I know I have to start with this, but how do I get to one purple key? It's gotta involve that five at the top, surely. So not counting the bottom right, 
there are 24 total purple doors. So if I unlock every door, I guess including this, I would want to grab 25 total keys. How do I get the 25? Well, the five would be necessary. However, if I collect everything except for 12 purple keys, I would then have 22. So I could unlock everything except for like this purple door, collect all purple keys with 12, unlock all purple doors, but this one. I mean, I, I can still spend a bunch of purple keys up top. I'll do this now, so at least I have access to the keys. I mean, this needs to open. I need three keys. Hmm. All right, what are the mandatory purple doors? I have to unlock this one. I have to unlock this one, because I have to get the five keys. So at some point, I need six more purple keys. Well, I need to spend six, get three, spend three, and then get another three. So I need to get at least six more. Then I'll have five more. Five on its own doesn't actually do anything, but if you add two to it, it becomes seven, then I can spend six and one. So part of the issue is I always have to get those six keys. I wonder if it does make sense to actually end up destroying these now. Yeah, I, I guess I can spend a lot of keys right now. Spend it and then open these doors. Lot of options now. Grab three keys. Get rid of those. Now this seems a little bit more doable by the second here. Cause I can get three keys from here. I can destroy this door actually. I think I win. Tough puzzle. Happy to have it done. Well, this game is starting to rack my brain already. It has a lot of good ideas. I've got two old keys on the main menu now, and that's where I'll pick up next time. See y'all then. By the way, this game is free if you want to play it yourself on itch.io. It's a good deal.